Hello everybody, my name is Tide Statistic, and today I'm going to be bringing you a game review on this game called Protocol. Protocol is a program of strict rules with maximum level security and control to establish first contact with alien life and so on and so forth. Protocol also comes in two different versions, a non-VR and a VR version. So you can play it in VR and you can play it not in VR. I ended up playing both of them just because I was like, I want to play them both just to experience the experience. Basically, you're a military subject that is shot into the Arctic Circle on a spacecraft of some sort, more like an emergency escape pod. Basically, in the VR version, I didn't care too much for it. There were some parts where it was good and there were some parts where it was bad. They needed to work on the resolution of the game itself for the VR because with some experience on helping um, resolution size and onward, um, the text is pretty hard to read it. So in the meantime, I would probably suggest playing the non-VR version until this game releases, which, I mean, this game releases in May, and so I'm doing this in February, so I mean, <laughs> A. Basically, you get thrown into the Arctic Circle not knowing anything on what you're supposed to do because it is a top-secret mission, and you have to follow protocols, and if you disobey protocols, you kind of get blown up because you're trying to contact aliens, spoiler alert. Um, if you read the, the description of the game, it kind of kind of tells you all that. This game does not like you disobeying it because if you do disobey it, you will end up dying. Basically, if you disobey protocol or go against protocol, it will nuke the whole damn place and not give two shits about you and make you restart from one of the save points that it does select. Also, this game does require having a reasonable amount of memory. Oh, fuck it. You'll just see it in a minute. But chalked up, the controls are pretty nice, and uh, the VR is questionable, but like I said, this game still has two months before released, and then on top of that, shit, I don't even know when you guys watch this, but on top of that, the locomotives are not bad um, for the VR, for the actual PC itself. It's really nice, pretty smooth, didn't have any issues other than being forced to watch the scenes over and over again if you mess up on things. Here's a prime example of some of the things you have to do to follow protocol. Retrieve the injector from the locker. Take the ampule with red liquid and administer 200 units into the chest area. Do not be afraid. It will expand your consciousness and could help to scan your brain activity. Oh. Alrighty, I hope nothing bad will happen to me. What? What, what the fuck? What if I injected into myself? To restore vision, take the blue pill orally. In 5% of cases, vision is not fully restored. Are you serious? I'm in these 5%? Well, I hope this is only a temporary effect, right? Your body is ready for a higher dose for the next test. Please administer 500 units of the green medicine. If there is a lack of dosage, you can make it yourself. <sighs> Great. I thought this was a pretty good example because you go colorblind and you can't remember. Obviously, the bottom right is the green fluid that you have to inject 500 doses into yourself. But it's little things like that that you don't expect to actually have to do and remember. Because I that's the last thing I thought was like, oh yeah, I need to remember what the fuck these colors are before I even started doing what I had to do. And then it was testing my cognitive thinking skills or my motor abilities and was like, take a diamond pill or the blue pill basically. And I ran around on the ground for like fucking 10 minutes trying to find this blue pill. Just to do a quick psychological evaluation. That chalks up most of it. In my opinion, I can't wait until this game comes out in May. It kind of feels like a whole bunch of different games li or movies like The Cube and fucking some other mystery games or cognitive, not cognitive thinking, but just like general games and puzzle solving and whatnot. Like if, if your thing is about puzzle solving games, then this is, this is probably for you if you know what I'm saying. I would honestly give this, even though it is such a short game at the moment, 
and I think I got a demo version, but even though the game itself is only like 20 minutes long at the second, I would have to say an 80, like an 87 out of 100. Alright guys, let me know what you guys think about this game in the comment section. If you want to see me play this when it releases in two months, go ahead and hit that like button, and if you want to see more, subscribe. Welcome to the Terminus Research Complex. Follow the protocol. And you'll be fine, my dear. I fainted. I don't know what could knock out a skilled soldier more efficiently, either frostbite or the pack of medicines that I had to devour, or the realization that I'm trapped in a military complex with an unclear purpose. Somewhere on the edge of the world, along with the ghost of my ex-wife, under the control of a soulless artificial intelligence. It is so fucking awesome.